Hi guys, welcome to day eight. You've joined us mid-drive from Brisbane to Warren Bungle National Park. Today is a big old driving day. Pretty much most of the day is going to be taken up by driving, about seven and a half, maybe a little bit more hours of the day of driving. So in order to give you something a little bit more interesting to watch, I'm going to film that Q&A on this drive. I asked you guys to send in your questions on Twitter and Instagram. You did in abundance, which was great, loads to choose from. Uh, so let's get on the road and let's answer the questions. let's crack on with this Q&A. Before we start, let me just address the elephant in the room, which is that horrible, massive banging noise you're going to hear every 15 seconds. Australian roads aren't all what they're cracked up to be. They're slightly loud, and especially in a big motorhome like this, where all of our pots and pans and plates are in cupboards, it gets a little bit rattly, but we'll work through it. First question comes from Owen659, and he said, what made you want to go to Australia? It's a good question, and I don't think I've actually said the main reason why we're here until now. So, the three of us, Glenn, Robbie and I, we uh, know a couple called Casey and Cassie who used to live in London um, and they recently, I say recently, earlier this year, moved back to Sydney where Cassie's from and since then I've had a little baby boy. So when they moved away we said we we're going to go visit them. Obviously it's a really good excuse to go to Australia and to see them and to, and to see the baby. So we thought let's do it. They told us that this might be a good time of year to do it because it's sort of entering the summer so it's not too hot. But it's also like nice and warm. So we, we booked it and then we planned this whole trip around meeting them, which is what we're doing after we've done the National Park. So we're going to Sydney and we're going to go hang out with those guys. It's Jack Wilder. Will you ever do a camera giveaway? Hold that thought for when we're back from Australia. News on that coming soon. James General said, why is your name Saunders Says on YouTube? I don't think I've ever answered this. I don't think I've ever explained why. So when I was trying to figure out what to call the YouTube channel and also what to name my business, I was like, what do I call it? I don't just want it to be just my name. I want to have something that has like a sort of message behind it or maybe like a little meaning. And I thought about what would I be doing? So I'd be making videos for other people as well as myself. I'd be sort of consulting people on how to make other videos. So I thought if I'm sort of doing stuff for other people or suggesting stuff for other people, what I say is, you know, what they're, they're going to hopefully take the advice on. Saunders says, eh? What's it like being the cameraman for Hashtag United and not being able to play? I, to be honest, I don't really look at it that way. I don't look at it as not being able to play. I see it as my role within the Hashtag United team is to be the cameraman and the guy that edits them. So I don't look at it that way. I love my role of being able to film it because I get a lot of pride in seeing those videos go up and seeing all of the reaction that they get and seeing how sort of wide the club is getting and how, how, how far it's going. Because essentially you think about like, the concept and actually all the game, it doesn't become reality until it's filmed and until it's edited. So I'm just very thankful to be a part of that. And I do 100% feel like I'm part of the team and that is a, I think I have a crucial role in the team and I think Spencer would agree with me on that. At Ben Hillis 01, how many countries have you been to in your life? 34, Australia being the 34. What's your editing process like? Well, that depends on the edit at hand. So Hashtag United, for example, is a completely different beast so many factors and layers involved in the edit, it really is like nothing else I edit. But when it comes to vlogs, so if I've got an idea in my head of how I want it to look when it's done, I'll basically film and edit according to that concept. So I'll try and basically take what I've got in my head and re-envision that and remake it on the timeline. So it'll just literally be like putting stuff together in order to tick those boxes that I've got in my head. But when I haven't got so much of a concept or like structure in mind, I'll go through all of the all the clips that I filmed that day, um, one by one, and I'll take the most usable bits out of each clip and lay them all on the timeline. After I've done that, I'll try and make sense of like how it all comes together and what sort of story can be told from it. And sometimes even something as small as changing like the order of clips, so moving one clip, maybe three clips before, can do quite a lot to, to change and alter the story for, for good. So that's important. After that, really the music ties it all together. So with the, my vlogs, there's a lot of it sort of montage based, a lot of it's like action based where the music sort of drives the footage. So the music really does a lot of that work. It's just about timing it to the beat and using the right sort of music to tell the story. But yeah, basically the workflow changes on whether I've got an idea in mind or whether I'm starting from scratch. What have been your go-to pieces of technology that you've had since you started? I honestly don't think I've had anything from the start all the way up to now. I've changed what I use quite a lot, but there's a few things that I've 
I've come across and I use along the way that I would definitely recommend. First of which being this. It doesn't look like much, but it's a little lens that clips onto the end of your phone and makes a wide angle. So it's really good for sort of wide angle selfies if you're in some in a cool environment or if you want to just get a little bit more into your frame but that your phone camera can usually do, add this on the end and it sort of expands the image quite well. The other thing, really simple, this charger. It's a phone case with a charger built in, but it gives me an extra maybe one and a half charges a day. So when I take it out off charge in the morning, I really don't have to charge it again until I sleep. And that is a full use during the day. So those two essential bits of kit. Brady G123, what's your favorite part about vlogging? My favorite part about vlogging hasn't changed since the moment I decided to start a YouTube channel, which was to have a collection of videos that I can look back on and relive experiences that I've experienced. The only difference now is, is I've got people watching them and I get feedback from you guys and compliments of you guys saying you're enjoying watching, watching me and my friends and other people do those experiences. So my favorite part hasn't changed, it's just got better because now I actually have people to share it with and can have sort of a conversation with you guys about those experiences. Tell us one thing we don't know about you. Um, this sort of ties in with another question that I was going to answer, which was what I would do if I wasn't doing videos. So it was actually only a matter of weeks before I started university that I changed on to a media film and TV course, because before that, I was going to do music production and that was like my thing. Like I loved recording music and loved sort of performing from recording music and stuff like that. So if I'd followed down that route instead of taking the route I did take, with any luck you might be listening to my tracks now as opposed to watching my videos. So there were a few questions that came in which I don't think I can answer by myself and there's also definitely a few that were aimed towards the three of us on this trip. So in order to answer those, stop the car! Right boys, first up, Tom said, what's the best bit about travelling? Glenn? It's a bit cheesy, but I, I really like doing things for like the first time. Like everything's new, everything's like, a, it's like a new road, it's a new city, it's a new, I mean even as lame as it being a new service station, it's kind of weirdly exciting. <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous. God, you have an exciting <laughs> Robbie? Yeah, I think it's similar. It's new experiences and new places, like discovering a new land almost and obviously not for the first time because it's all been discovered before but yeah, new it? things Ooh. and then I think being with friends like sharing that experience is a big part of it as well. Ryan W300 wants to know what are the cameras of choice class guys well, Glenn, what are you shooting on I shoot on a Sony a7s I shoot on a Sony a7s 2 Ooh, he trumped you! He trumped you! I know, and I got mine first, so he copied me, <laughs> one upped me, and made me feel bad about my purchase. <laughs> now, I get to sort of like wish I had these guys' cameras because that has a lovely image, but I use the Canon 80D because I, and it required the flip out screen, and no big camera company has pulled their finger out and made like a proper full frame mirrorless camera with a foldable screen. So, until that happens, I'm sticking with the Canon 80D. Well, obviously we use like, the drone and GoPros as well. Yeah. Yeah. GoPro Hero 5, we're rocking for this trip. Yeah. And the DJI Phantom 4, otherwise known as Fenton. From the Hangover movies, who's the most like each character? <laughs> can, I, can I be Doug? <laughs> you would you, you just get lost. Well yeah, I normally, like, I normally end up in sort of precarious situations. I don't know how I got there, but I don't really do anything particularly controversial. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, yeah. take Doug. Um, oh, I don't know. I think I'm probably the weirdest. I think I could be Alan. <laughs> See, you say that, but I've, I've been called Alan before. I think it's just the ginger beard that does it. <laughs> I hope that's the only reason, but... Well, if you're Alan, then that means I've got to be, like... Who else can I be? Oh, I, I could be... What's his face? Oh, all the rubbish. Bradley Cooper. I have to be Bradley oh, Cooper. No. What a shame. Oh, I mean, it's better to be him than... Uh, well, you could Stu. be Stu, yeah. And Stu, and it, all the bad things happen to Stu. <laughs> so, it's funny how no one knows what Bradley Cooper's character is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think we should leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of the Q&A. You need to get back on the road now because we still have a, quite a few hours of driving left before we get yeah. to our first national yeah. park. Thanks for all your questions. Thanks for watching the daily vlogs up to now. Let us know what you think of them. The daily vlogs are very much a combination of all our efforts. So uh, if you want to sort of get involved with other sides of what we're doing, then make sure you follow these guys' Instagrams. They're in the description. They make top quality photographic and video content. Thank you.